Mr. Hester, uh, this is uh, Paul. Uh, as you can see, we've got your engine apart. Again, this is called the lower unit down here. And this is, uh, it's, it, it shifts electrically. You got push buttons for forward, reverse, and neutral. Uh, when there are solenoids under here that shift a hydraulic valve, there's also a hydraulic pump down here uh, in, the, in the lower unit. And, and these solenoids, when they aren't activated, you're in forward. When uh, one solenoid is activated, you go into neutral. And if you go into reverse from there, then a second solenoid is activated along with the first sol solenoid. Um, and we can't seem to get it to go into, re into neutral. We can get it to go into um, into um, reverse. And what I'm gonna, hopefully I'm gonna be able to show you right here is that like some of the other wires that we've encountered on this engine, we have a, uh, let's see if we can, maybe if I get it on this, I think I can show you the bare wires. So we've got bare wires in there. Uh, I hope this phone is doing that justice. Uh, and those bare wires are touching. So when we try to put it in neutral, what's occurring is we're actually putting it in reverse. Uh, so um, because those two wires are touching each other, and um, uh, so if we try to put it in neutral, and it energizes the first solenoid. Uh, it's also energizing the second solenoid due to the fact that those wires are touching each other. And so that takes us into reverse. So we have no neutral position. We have only forward and reverse, which is not a good thing. Um, we had found um, that earlier that we had a, uh, uh, there'd been a, a rodent that had eaten some of the insulation from the wires and we corrected that. And, um, and that stopped the dead short that we had um, coming down in, in one of these wires. The dead, sh the dead short was um, causing a, a blown fuse up here in the engine. That, that fuse was blowing uh, and, and uh, so we, we, the engine would stop when we when we energized in these wires, uh, either one of these wires, the engine would just stop and blow that fuse. So uh, that didn't happen initially. It was, uh, we took it out initially, it ran fine for about a minute or two, maybe three, and then uh, had to idle it back into, into uh, uh, the dock and load it back up and bring it here. And the reason we were able to idle in forward is because we did not have either one of these wires energized. So um, anyhow, uh, we got that, we got the rodent situation corrected and there was still another problem down here. So uh, been, been real interesting. Um, as a matter of fact, that problem, this problem where it was shorting out um, actually burned up a diode in the control box. So we have a new diode. I think it was about 50 bucks. We've got it installed. Uh, and what would happen without the diode is once we started the engine, we couldn't get it to shut off. Uh, the only way to shut it off was to choke it and, and choke it out, uh, put, too much, put too much fuel to it and kill the engine with too much fuel, uh, the wrong air fuel ratio in other words. So anyway, um, we uh, we still continue to, uh, w w to continue to work on this wiring, um, so just wanted to let you know, give you an update on that. I am working on your um, your invoice for the extra work that we've done uh, today, and um, and so um, I'm probably sending an invoice for everything that we had agreed to do initially, and then. Um, and then we're trying to uh, control this extra work invoice to um, to get you a completed boat. We're trying to control that 
uh, as much as possible. Uh, so anyway, just want to let you know, uh, expect something maybe later this weekend, or it might be the first of the week. Thank you.